Hello and welcome to yet another video from my playlist of system engineering DevOps. Um, in today's video, we'll be looking at how to set up a domain name and specifically we'll be looking at how to get a free .tech domain. So these, these steps are quite easy, but they are much. So what I'll do is just to rush through the video. Um, first and foremost, you come to your project tax on tax 2. Um, there's a link for you to click. So you click on that link. When you click on that link, it brings you to this .tech domains and by your right, there is a place where you can click to get your tech domain name. It brings you right here and you can type in the name of your domain. Then click on next. If the domain name is available, it tells you. If it's not available, it also says that to you. Okay, this domain name is available. You can see right here that it says available. So although there is a price to pay, but this is supposed to be a free, um, a free um, domain. So how do we make this free? Um, the next step for you to do is to click on um, add to chat. So you, you click on add to chat and it says added. Although it's saying you should pay this amount of money, but don't worry, just click on proceed. The next thing you need to do is to um, go back to tax two on your project and get your coupons from there. So let's go back to tax two and there's a link there that says two space. So we'll click on this link and it takes us right to, to this page. When I scroll down, you will see that I have coupons and this is my coupon to use to get a free domain name. So I'll click, um, copy this. Just copy that, go back to the tech domain, you can paste it there. So you paste it there and click next. After pasting your coupon, um, it's expected that um, the amount to pay should be zero, like zero dollars because it's a free domain for one year. But because I've used my coupon, it's not going to be like that for me, but yours is going to be so. So you can just click on um, next. So turn off privacy protection and ensure that SSL is turned on. Next thing for you to do is to click on paste. So you can just paste your coupon code here. Paste your coupon code and you can click on pay for order. So when you paste your coupon code and um, you press next, it's going to tell you that um, so the amount you are supposed to pay will become zero dollars because it's already a free um account for one year click on next and you can place your order when you click on place order it's going to bring you to this page so if you don't have an account you can just go ahead and create an account if you already have an account you can go ahead and log in but if in your if your case is that you don't have an account you can just click on create an account and this is what it looks like so basically this is just um some few informations for you to enter your name your email your city and your country are like the mandatory um data that they want so you put in your password and you can click on create your account so after signing up or logging in it brings you to this page and here you just need to at this point you just need to click on manage orders or you, you come to jump to domain name and you can type in your domain name from here. So let's just type our domain name. So after you type in your domain name, you click on next. When you click on next, next step is for you to, so by your right hand side, you will see what we call DNS management. So you see DNS management um, here by your right hand side down there. You see DNS management. You click on DNS management. It brings you down. Go to your left. You click on manage DNS. It brings you to this page. So it brings you here. Next step for you to do is to click on add a record. So by my left hand here, you can see add a record. I'll click on it and type in my host name so example i can say 
um, is for, the next step for me to do is to write my IP address. Remember your IP address from your project. So you just go to your project. Towards your servers, you will see um, your IP address is there. You get it. Go back to the um, DNS management. Then you can pay, paste your IP address there. So paste your IP address there. Then cl you click on add record and automatically it um, save that in your e-records for you so that's how you um, create a free domain dot tech domain but we're not done with the project yet the next step for us to carry out is to go back to the project create a file for it and put our domain name there our new domain name let's do that yeah before we create a file for that the next thing we are supposed to do is to click on your profile so you click on your profile and it takes when you click on your profile it takes you to this page called technical information um, you can just so it brings you down you scroll down to technical information and your project website URL you can paste your new um, the tech domain name there so so the instruction says you just paste your your domain name no, don't add any subdomain like um www dot all that don't add any of that just paste your domain name as simple as maybe future systems as tech um it can be david dot tech solomon dot tech whatever you feel like using but don't add your subdomain like um a www dot so don't add that just put only your domain name then when you're done saving that you just come scroll down and click on save your information and it's going to tell you that your profile was successfully updated so just put your domain name and click on save your information and it tells you your profile was successfully updated all right let's get back to the tax so one important thing you need to know is that um before your domain name can be registered, it takes up to one or two hours for it to be registered. So just be patient with that. But to confirm if your domain name has been registered, you can go down to the stacks. There's a link here. You click on this link and it takes you to this page. And you can type in your domain name for you to confirm if it's successful or not, if your registration has, um, was successful. So I'm going to type in my domain name and see if it has been registered. So when you finish typing your domain name, you click enter and it's going to tell you, okay, your domain name is this and this is like a JSON response for it. The most important thing in this part is that under the registrar, you're supposed, it's supposed to be .serve incorporated. So when you see this, on your domain name just know that your domain name has been registered but like i said earlier um, if your domain name has not been registered just give it some time and then come back just confirm if it has been registered so that's how to set up um, a free.tech domain let's go back to the project so you go into the right repository under the right directory um, web server what you need to do is to create your file create a file a vi and the name of the file now yeah there's an error with that now the next thing is just for you to write your domain name remember no subdomain no stuff like www dot whatever just simply your domain name and for example it can be this so just type in your domain name and exit save and exit git add git commit and git push it so we're going to git add that um git commit um setting up so any message will be fine and we are going to git push that now when you're done with that 
And when you're done with that, all you need to do is just to check your code to confirm. Yeah, in the next video, I'm going to talk about redirections. Here's just a summary of the instructions I've given out. So in case you have difficulties with that, you can just go through this. So these are just the written out instructions. Let me just scroll down so that you can get them. You can pause the video. So this is just um, a summary of all the steps you need to take. Um, so when you finish setting up your domain name, you have to confirm to see if your domain name has been registered. So just use this URL or this link and it takes you to um, the page. You type in your domain name and you click on enter and it, you're supposed to see a JSON response that says um, registrar name so just look very closely you will see registrar name and dot save incorporated just means that your domain name has successfully been registered well if if that is not the case you will have to wait for a couple of hours and try again so best of luck to you guys